Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a throwback Thursday type of makeup tutorial. I was totally inspired by that girl Shay here on YouTube. I will have her link down below. So basically what a throwback tutorial is, is using an older eyeshadow palette that was released a long time ago or you haven't reached for in a while and creating a makeup tutorial. So it just kind of gets you to use the older palettes that you've been neglecting or haven't reached for in a while. So for today's tutorial, I thought I would do like a bronzy, golden, glowy look using the original naked palette which is so popular on YouTube I'm sure all of you guys know of it and most of you guys have it so I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial and getting started I'm gonna be starting with the shade naked from the palette and I'm running that through my crease like I said I want to do something bronzy and glowy and I decided to turn this into a halo eye so I'm going to be using that as my transition shade and also focusing that on the outer corner as well as the inner corner of my eye Next, I'm going to be taking Buck from the palette and I'm going to be doing the same exact thing, just running that on top of where we placed the naked shade. I'm not going to lie, these palettes aren't my absolute favorite. I don't love how the shadows perform. It did definitely take me a while to build the shadows up how I wanted them to, but I definitely wanted to use a naked palette for this throwback tutorial because like I said, I know it's probably like one of the most popular throwback palettes out there right now and I just thought I'd create a really nice look using this palette anyway. So personally for me, it just takes a lot of patience using this palette, but I managed. So after I got those shades how I wanted them to, I went ahead and blended and I just did the other eye off camera to save some time. Now I'm going in with the shade Hustle, which is a shimmer, but the shimmers in the Naked palette, especially the deeper ones, I feel like they don't really come off as shimmery on the eye and you definitely can pass off putting them on the crease in the outer corner. So I'm using this shade to just deepen up the corners of my eye and running that through my crease to intensify the halo eye effect. To clean everything up and just to make the center of my lid pop a little bit more, I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the shade Milk and just blending it out to really lighten up the center of my lid. This is really going to help the middle shade pop off of the eyes. For the pop in the center of the halo eye, I'm going to be taking the famous Half Baked, which is the famous Urban Decay Gold that they included in some of their Naked palettes. It's such a stunning shade, probably the best shade in the Naked palettes, and I'm just going to be packing that on the center of my lid. It is so pigmented, and it's just like that true, perfect gold shade. It's not too, like, brassy. It's not too yellow. It's just like the perfect gold, and I really, really love how it played with the other shades on my eye. And then I'm going to be taking the same brush that I applied all the other colors with with no additional product and this kind of trying to blend out the edges of the shadow a little bit oh I am using a little product I think I just was using the lightest brown naked to kind of buff out the edges I went ahead and applied my mascara and then just removed the tape to reveal the nice sharp line. Once I had everything cleaned up, I moved on to my face. I'm mixing the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer with a little bit of the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer. They're basically the same thing, I just didn't have enough of the e.l.f. and I'm going to be massaging that into my skin to smooth out my face. Underneath my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use some MAC Fix Plus. This is just really going to keep me refreshed and make my foundation look nice and luminous and glowy for the summer. For foundation, of course, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm still using the shade 120 and I'm blending it out with a Morphe Brushes M439.
All right, so now it's time for concealer and you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I did go ahead and use three different concealers. I just really love how this looks underneath my eyes. So the first thing I'm taking is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Natural. This definitely has more of a peachy undertone. So I'm taking that right on top of the darkest part of my eye to kind of cancel out any purple or blue. Then I'm gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, which is amazing just kind of in my normal concealer spots just to conceal everything. And then I'm gonna be taking the Tarte Shape Tape in fair to really give me that bright effect and I skipped um, blending because you guys know it already took me a really long time so yeah that is my current concealer routine if you guys are interested now I'm going to be cream contouring with the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit in the shade medium I did apply a lot but once I went ahead and blended it out with my foundation brush it was all good this just gives me a really really awesome bronzy summer vibe and that's kind of like the whole idea that I wanted to go for for this particular makeup tutorial and then I'm also going ahead and blending some down my jawline you guys know I have to contour that double chin a little bit. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and take the lighter banana shade in this palette and using that to cut my contour. I usually would do this with a powder, but I figure just to be a little bit more intense, I'm going to cut it with the banana powder. No, I lied. It's not a powder. The cream shade. And then I'm just going to be blending that out with the same brush to make sure everything is blended out seamlessly, setting my whole entire face with my Laura Mercier powder as always. And then I'm going to go ahead and just top off the cream with some bronzer just to intensify the look and make it a lot more bronzy and sun-kissed. And then just add a little bit more color to my cheeks going in with Milani's Romantic Rose Blush. I'm going to be contouring the face with my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette, taking the lightest, most cool toned shade on my Wet n Wild contour brush and just hitting the hollows of my cheeks as well as a little bit of the sides of my temples and up onto my forehead. And of course, just blending that all out with my powder brush so it's all blended nice and seamlessly. To finish up the eyes, I'm going in with Virgin on my little pencil brush and just hitting just on the little arch right underneath my arch. I don't like when there's too much of a shimmer all across my brow bone highlight, but just on that one part just gives it a nice little pop and really helps to lift the brow. I really do wish that the Naked palettes had a nice basic matte color, but this one worked for now and then I'm also hitting the inner corner with that same shade. I'm almost going to be like lining the outer portion of my lower lash line using a little tiny detail brush with some shadow. So I'm taking the shade Hustle in the Urban Decay Naked palette and just lining really, really tight to my lash line and getting a nice defined line under there and then really lightly going to be blending that shade out so it's not super harsh. But again, I want this to be more like a liner look opposed to like a smoky under eye. Right now, you guys are seeing me lay down ColourPop Lunch Money as a base for my highlighter. You guys have seen me do this a ton before. I really think that ColourPop highlighters make awesome bases. You could totally use it alone, but it just provides like almost like a nice cream base to really make whatever you put on top really pop off the face. So today, I'm going to be topping that off with Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in So Hollywood. This is the gorgeous gold shade, and I'm using my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush on the tops of my cheekbone and then the tip of my nose. This is such a gorgeous just highlighter shade and I really think it just complemented the whole bronzy golden look very well. Oh, and I've also been going ahead and hitting just like the forehead above the arch of my eyebrows a little bit. I really love how that makes my face glow. I really love how that looks. And then for my lip liner, I'm going in with Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K. Hands down, definitely my favorite lip liner, but mine actually is like super defective and like the whole thing keeps coming out so as you can see I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with this little nub of the lip pencil that's left <laughs> To fill in the rest of my lips, I'm going to be going in with a couple shades from the Shan XO palette. This is the darker nude in the palette. I'm going to be going in and filling in all of my lips with that. And then I'm going to be topping off the center with the lighter nude shade you guys will see me do. I'm just going to be patting that on with my finger. And that completes my Throwback Thursday makeup tutorial using the Naked palette. Let me know if you guys want to see this with any other eyeshadow palette. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And as always, I will see you guys in my next one.